I'm Zane Redfern, home decorating enthusiast and creator of At Home with Zane. So welcome back everyone. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. I wanted to share with you today a few tips if you're thinking of transitioning or making over a space in your home. I recently had the pleasure of working with two different clients to transition rooms in their home, and I myself learned some things in the process that I wanted to share with all of you. The first thing that I learned and I really wanna share with you guys is if you're thinking of redecorating a space in your home, take pictures of the space or video footage because when I visited my clients' homes, I took photographs and I took video footage. And when I got home that evening and I was going through the photographs and the videos, I noticed things that I didn't notice when I was standing in the space. And in my last client's uh, situation, it was something that was a really big impact. So it was something that when I looked at it when I was in the room, I didn't think about changing it. But when I got home and I looked at the pictures, I immediately thought, wow, I." That didn't jump out to me at all, but now that I'm looking at this uh, in a video and in photographs, this shelf is entirely too small for this wall. And then I also noticed that she had a companion piece on the other side of her room that actually matched the shelf. So it, what we had done was moved that companion piece over to an area where it looked more appropriate and now it was with the piece it belonged with instead of being separated and across the room. So the photographs and the video footage made a world of difference. The second thing is, and I say this often in my videos, um, is to shop your home before you shop the stores. And with my last client's project, she had a lot of really beautiful accessories that she already owned, but she just never thought about using them in the dining room. And so they were really, really beautiful. And it was very, very helpful whenever we went through her totes and we found these beautiful accessories. Not only did they work wonderfully in the space, they also saved her a lot of money. The next thing is think further than your furniture. So a lot of times when we make over a space, we think about the furnishings and then we go to our accessories. But something that can really make a huge impact in a room is the drapery. A lot of times you have drapes that don't complement the style of your room. And in my last client's project, she had custom made drapes made 20 years ago and they were beautiful 20 years ago, but they were really outdated. And so they made the room feel heavy and we had this older furniture we were working with and it just was not giving this room its just due. So we took down the draperies and that instantly elevated the look and it made it brighter and lighter. And so a lot of times whenever people redecorate a room, we forget about the drapery. So when you're looking at transitioning a space, if it's a room that has drapes or has curtains or blinds, take a look at those and see if that's somewhere where you can upgrade your room. And my last tip is take measurements. I say this often, but I can't stress it enough. In this transformation process of both of my clients' homes, I measured everything precisely. So not only should you be measuring the space that you want to place something in, you should also be measuring the space that you are already working with. We wanted to put an area rug underneath the dining room table to bring in some color and texture and break up that carpeting. and. I knew that a five by seven was going to be too small and I knew that an eight by 10 was going to be too large. So I measured and we went with a six by nine and it worked perfectly. The same thing when we changed out her light fixture, I measured and the chandelier arrived and it worked beautifully. And in both situations with both clients, we didn't have to send anything back. So these are just some tips that I found really useful in both of my last projects. And if you haven't seen those videos, I will include them in my video description. But oftentimes these are things that we don't think about whenever we are working on making over our room because we're focused on the end result and we're focused on making our space look beautiful and new. And oftentimes we get ahead of ourselves. We put the, uh, you know, 
cart before the horse. And in this situation, it was really important that I made sure all of our bases were covered because I didn't want my clients to be um, spending money that they didn't need to spend. And I also didn't want anything to be delayed because they were both really excited and anxious to get their spaces redecorated and, and made beautiful. So if you haven't done so, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell so you're notified of any new upcoming videos. Check out my video description for links to all my social media sites, my Instagram, my Pinterest, my Facebook. It's all on there. It's a one-stop shop. Thank you all so much for watching and we'll look for you the next time.